All right, well, I want to get on to something. We promised you a sweet surprise where you're going to get it. We want to say happy birthday, baby. Oh. Hey, Gregory. Birthday. Happy hey, birthday, buddy. buddy. Jump out Yo. A beautiful cake. A unicorn. With oh, a unicorn beautiful. on it, which is your That is absolutely symbol, amazing. Right? It's you. That's is the unicorn really edible? edible? You're an attractive unicorn. You have sparkles on you. That is fantastic. Have you ever you know, had a unicorn? Like, it looks like every one of your shoes. I did. It really <laughs> does. Okay, uh, happy passing Summer plate. of Gutfeld birthday. Yes, because it's the summer of Greg Gutfeld after the nice press you oh, received, you're, you're right? Crazy. Yeah, crazy. yeah, happy right. birthday, man. It's, and it, I, well, I thought of Greg, too, on my trip when I was coming home from South Carolina yesterday. I stopped at the um, gas station, and they had this wonderful souvenir oh, that I thought that. that you would probably Greg, like. Greg, I thought of you, too. I brought your elf. It's like oh, yeah. a fish it's unicorn. Like nice and Greg, I thought of you, too. Here's my reading glass. Yeah. <laughs> But do you Bob love that it's like rainbow icing? This is a beautiful cake, by the way, and I want to give a big thanks to uh, Carlos Bakery in Hoboken, New Jersey yeah, for this Carlos, fantastic right. cake making all of Greg's unicorn dreams come true. That is insane. <laughs> yes. And remember this. That is insane. Leave the gun, bring the cake. <laughs> oh, okay? my goodness. That's a really big cake. I 100% want to be that. Really anyway, big happy big. birthday, Greg. Thank love you. Love having you Dana, here Dana, that's for show. you. That okay, yeah, I'm thankful for all of dinner. you for watching. See you tomorrow. And send Greg a little happy birthday email. He yeah. really like it. They never did this to me on Red Eye. You people are And I'm getting to send you your ARP card. I get, to, I get to give you your ARP card. <laughs> I got three years until that card. No, no, less than that now, pal. I love it. Welcome to Red Eye. I'm Greg Gutfeld. Yes, that Greg Gutfeld. I know you've heard of me. What's that? You're surprised that I'm this handsome in person? Ah, uh, you're too kind. The makeup people actually toned down my good looks to make the guests look better. Let's go to TV's Andy Levy for our pregame report. Andy, what's coming up on tonight's show? Thanks, handsome. And don't worry, America. I'll take it from here. Coming up on the big show, should people who do dumb things on airplanes on 9-11 be shot? A fair and balanced debate. Next. Plus, a state college in Missouri introduces mandatory drug testing for all its students. The story is so shocking, just talking about it may be unconstitutional. Mm. And finally, Bill Schultz visits the first New York City bourbon and moonshine distillery since the days of prohibition. But did he make it back to report on it? Spoiler alert, unfortunately, he did. Oh. Greg? Oh. Thank you, Andy. Big day today, huh, Greg? Oh, you mean because it's... Uh, yeah, like back on this day in 1940, the Lascaux cave paintings were found near Montagnac, France. Uh, that's not what I the was... The paintings are 15 to 17,000 years old and are considered some of the finest examples of art from the Upper Paleolithic period. What a day in history indeed. <laughs> well... Yeah, but I was just going to tell you... Also on September 12th, 1953, Nikita Khrushchev was elected first secretary of the Communist Party. That's great. Also... And this was the exact same day that John Kennedy and Jacqueline Bouvier were married. What an amazing day, Greg. Yeah, it's amazing. But... And on September 12th, 1977, Stephen Biko, leader of South Africa's Black Consciousness Movement, died in a prison cell in Pretoria. Andy? And in happier news, on this day in 1951, the great Sugar Ray Robinson won back his middleweight championship belt from Randy Turpin. Andy? Yeah, Greg? Today's my birthday. Oh, cool. Yeah. On September 12, 2004, the first season of Entourage came to an end. No, oh, shut up. You ruin everything. It's like this every year. Let's welcome our guest. She's so cute that puppies use her face as a screensaver. 